All right, good day, Blab. It's your girl, Hotep Sophia, also known as Dominique Rebel, and we are here with another fabulous episode of Good Day Blab, where we get the news straight from the Blab timeline and, you know, see what's going on. I've got on my good old Blab shirt today, which um, if I ever get my videos uploaded from um, my step class, I always wear um, Blab shirts, and it's funny because... The black people don't know what the blab is. So trying to convert them. <laughs> uh, they like Facebook. Well, they don't like getting banned, that's for sure. So um, uh, yesterday's episode was a giant mess. So today we're going to try and not have a giant mess of an episode. We'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start with, um, oh, shoot, I did this again, too. Wait a second. I guess I don't have to. All right, well, if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. It looks like we have audio today. So um, shout out to the person who told me there was no audio on my video yesterday, which is fabulous. Um, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. I thought this was a cool post. Because um, on the Blab, you find a little bit of everything. Um do your kids struggle with cleaning motivation? I know mine certainly do, but I have some sneaky tricks to make cleaning more fun and less of a chore. Check out today's video for some tools I keep in my belt to get things moving. And that's um, motivating kids to clean. Cleaning with kids. Uh, small changes. That's the, the Blab uh, channel. Um, of course, you can always watch this, catch this video and, and other videos like it. TV.gab.com um look at this look what they did to the peanuts i swear to goodness do you have to chew so loud when you eat look these people and their memes are outrageous um somebody did a video on this um propaganda in the kitty shows interesting listen look at this you can jab the entire planet but you can't feed the starving what in the world is that about? <laughs> Look at this. Mean. Very mean. Okay. Um, Look. Again, nullify fed laws is right on point. How did that work out for us? Had four years to make it happen. Politics is nothing but a game show now. Uh, always has been. Rob always has been. Um, we are the counterculture now, and they don't like it. That is a fact. Um, Allie, love Allie. I'm not going to read that because it'll get me banned somewhere. Um, 10th Amendment Center posts some great stuff about the founding of the country and how things actually happened and how things actually worked because, um, boy, people have no idea how anything works. And so I would definitely, um, check them out, give them a follow. Uh, and it lines up with a lot of the research that I've done about, um, history and stuff, so uh, definitely give them a follow. Relentless Truth, another good one. If you stood your ground for the past 18 months and actively fought against any and all communist tactics, you are he a hero, and I salute you. It's not easy staring, in, st staring evil in the face and refusing to flinch. Man, it is hard. You have to really be a strong person, uh, for real. Uh, this one. You don't defeat evil with more evil. You defeat evil with God. That is a fact. This person must have just joined Twitter. Torba retweeted all of these, I would think. If there were more God-fearing fathers in the household, we could solve most of our country's problems. And this is especially true in the black community because you will see that they literally, like, destroyed black men. Like, destroyed. So I have a hat. It says, uh, protect black men. I really mean that because, like, um, you know, if there were more black fathers, just put black in there. If there were more black fathers that were God fearing and not atheists or like my grandmother was a Christian, you know, but I went to church and they treated me mean and stuff like that. There's just really more God fearing black men. We would, we would be experiencing far fewer problems than we are. However, that is not the case. 
and I totally get it, man. I get it. Here we go. Look at this. Some people have this problem. Um, this is another blab uh, feature um, that you would never find on the boob tube anyway. Um, look at this. If you didn't know blab has ads, woo boy, you missing out. Um, for real. Uh, blab ads might be the only online ads that businesses have to turn off because they are working too well. And this person, um, like literally 480% ROAS never had this value from, um, I don't know what to call that besides the word ads and, um, dumb book that's or suck book. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that is true. Oh, if you didn't hear about the thing in Wisconsin yesterday, so like, I'll just go over it really, really briefly. Um, the one of the counties, Racine County, is um, actually investigating the fraud. The sheriff's office now, like for people who live in small towns or whatever, y'all understand how sheriffs work. But like where I'm from, we have, like I say a lot, uh, there's over a hundred police agencies that are allowed to at any time invade my house and do whatever they want. Uh, basically, um, completely unencumbered. So, um, yeah, that's the thing about that. So, um, sheriffs are actually supposed to be more, um, valuable than like the regular police because sheriffs are elected and so in pg county where i'm from our elected sheriff is a boob a complete ma maniac like he used to come down to the place where i worked the restaurant i worked at and he would be getting drunk all types of stuff and i would just be like we elected this person like i will probably not i mean if you know how any of this works probably not but Anyway, so the Sheriff's County office in Racine, Wisconsin, is investigating it, and they put out a really nice slideshow yesterday. I haven't seen the whole thing yet, um, but uh, somebody did post the link to it. Of course, you can find that um, on my page, uh, which is at Dominique Rebel, Hotep Sophia, either or I'll show up, and um, you can click on that link and take a look. Um some of the great federal, Corey Lynn does great research. Um, some of the great, uh, the actual good uh, legislative things coming out of um, DC. Not that they make a difference, but whatever. Um, look at this. Every American should send the White House an invoice for $450,000. Hey, you know what? This is a perfect time to talk about this. Um, there, you can do that. It's called the Miller Act Notice, and a great inventor, Michael McKibben, who invented scalable social media, actually sent this to the White House so that uh, Trump could do the right thing and return the data, at least compensate this his company for the data, the everything that they stole from him, and um, via the patent office, which if you didn't know, the patent office is actually run by a British company called Circo, and um, the queen basically gets first dibs at every single patent that comes through the block. So if you are a business person, you, you do some kind of business, whatever you do, do not, do not, do not send your valuable, valuable ideas to the federal government. Not for copyright, not for patent, not for anything. Because, um, again, I'll talk about this briefly, but I've been screaming this for years. A patent and a copyright mean nothing if you don't have the money to actually defend them, which means you have to be able to have a lawyer. So they make you pay this money to copyright your stuff, but if you don't have a lawyer to defend your copyright, doesn't mean anything. It, I mean, literally, it means nothing because a big company in any kind can come and take, like, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is you have, they can just come and take it. So if you give it away for free, like um, Frank Chester, the Chester Hedron, if you don't know anything about that, lots of great information still available on the boob tube about that. But um, you can actually 
uh, give it away for free and the government will leave you alone because they don't want it if everyone can have it. So open source, this sort of uh, style of thinking about things, open source is a really, really good way to go. And we really need to, as uh, entrepreneurs and business people, really think about like just getting the government out of our businesses because like literally they can steal your stuff at any time. That's what they did to Michael McKibben. The information is there. If you go to Americans for Innovation, yeah, Americans, the number four innovation dot blogspot dot com or aimfortruth.com or aimfortruth.org, you will uh and you just type in uh, McKibben uh uh or uh uh, social media or social media theft, that's a good one. Um, you will find more information about this topic than you ever knew existed. But yeah, these people, um, you know, so we can send them an invoice. It's called a Miller Act notice. And guess what? They'll ignore it just like Trump did. Okay, so this thing with the, the Zuck book, man, this is a meme, okay? It is probably 100% accurate. I haven't read the... Um, <laughs> I haven't read the actual article yet, but I know it is. Okay, stop scrolling. I just wanted to remind you today that you are beautiful, you are worthy, you are chosen, you are forgiven, you are saved, and you are loved. Yes, please always remember that. Okay, look. Again, the community is not orderable, not produced. The mandate is based on a lie. The FDA approved batches don't exist. They don't exist. They never planned on existing because in order to, um, if it was going to be existing, then you have to give all of the ingredients, all of the active ingredients. And they don't want you to have the active ingredients. So that's that. Make everything Trump again. That's fact. I mean, again, he's not my favorite person at the moment, but, um, this bite me guy needs to go. Okay. Um, who has better hair? You see what I picked? No, you can't see what I picked. I said Kim Jong-un. Okay. Um, here we go. From the get go, Trump's site blocks gab. What is that about? Our engineers looked under the hood and were shocked to see the level of censorship already present. I really want this article to get out there because the right thinks that this website is going to be some kind of free speech. Look, it says, truth, social, new social media company aimed at saving America. Follow the truth. It's more propaganda. Like, how do you not let Blab? Blab has the best information out there. Okay. Um, Wall Street Silver, another great follow. It's hard to believe that in all of human history, no one ever thought to just print a crap ton of money before uh, because it doesn't work, okay? Somebody said, we meme Trump into office. That's a fact. And now they have just made the memes useless. Love that. Okay, I definitely want to talk about this really, really, really fast. The NAACP is upset that Texas is removing one of the abortion, the leading cause of death for colored people, abortion. What is wrong with these people? Okay, so let me tell you something about the NAACP, and I'm going to try not to go on about this. But what you have to understand is that the NAACP does not represent black Americans, uh, uh, descendants of um, Reconstruction, I call us. Because... Um, after Reconstruction, that's when you had a lot of, um, like, sort of the color, the separation by color happened. Because before Reconstruction, it was separation by class. After Reconstruction, it started to be separation by color. So um, if you know anything about Brown versus Board of Education, you'll know that the NAACP is the one who provided the lawyers for that case. Well, what some of you may not know, and which I have said a million times, but people just don't get it, is that the people they were representing, the Brown, the parents um, in South Carolina, they actually wanted separate but equal. They wanted separate. But halfway through the case, they the NAACP lawyers who were from a special, uh, a certain pointy hat community, 
um, decided that they would not, they would no longer represent the case if they um, did not go along with um, what, you know, they wanted, which was integration. But the case never was about integration. It was about separate but equal facilities, funding, because um, prior to that, schools were funded by the community, meaning like if you had a one room schoolhouse, you, the community would pool their resources to pay the teacher. And usually what would happen is the teacher would go from house to house and stay with the families and the families would feed them. So not only were they paying the person to teach, then they also, the community had to come together and house the person. Meanwhile, you had at the state level, at the county level, they were actually funding white schools. What it, it, and at that time, it was black and white um, because of we're, we're after into the segregation era. So you had <clears throat> public schools for whites being funded by the state. So they were beautiful, state of the art, everything. Then you had black schools who are still like these one room schoolhouses in some cases. In other cases, they had a lot of schools. Like if you look at Tulsa prior to the riots or some other places where they, basically all the places where they did the riots, if you look at those communities, they were communities of, of wealth. Um, and that's why they did the riots there, but we'll talk about that another day. So um, what these people wanted is they wanted the same facilities that were made available to the white kids for the black kids. And um, if you don't know, Indians were considered white. I don't think they want to talk about that, but they were lumped in with the whites and the blacks were not. So, um, anywho, uh, in some cases, in some states, it's a lot of like stuff with that too. But, um, so the parents actually wanted separate but equal. They wanted more money for their schools. And the lawyers for the NAACP came in and said, no, if you don't ask for full integration, then we're going to drop your case. And they had no one else to represent them. These kind of things are very expensive. They're very complicated. You have to have the right kind of lawyers, so on and so forth. So the parents said, okay. And so integration was a, as a result of the NAACP. So that being said, you can see that their interests really are not with black people because they wouldn't even give black people what they wanted from Brown versus Board, which was separate but equal. So like I always try to remind our um, conservative uh, uh, family members here, the whites, um, we didn't want no integration. We wanted separate but equal. It was the NAACP and their pointy hat friends that decided, um, no, y'all Negroes is going to get integration and then we're going to cause all this violence and all this uprising. And um, real quick, I have a story about this. So my mom and my dad both were um, products of integration. So my dad, <laughs> he, he, his school did integrate. He went to an integrated high school. He did not go to an integrated elementary school or middle school. So uh, Brown versus Board of Education was 1959, I think. My parents were born in 57. So he didn't get to high school until 1969. So 10 years later, Maryland, Eastern Shore, was not integrated. And when he went to school, now his experience was pure insanity. When he got to school, it was like fight club. Like he had to fight every single day. I, I mean, he don't even like talking about it. It was so horrible. And my mom totally different experience, both in Maryland, both in Maryland, totally different experience. So my mom, all her schools were integrated. It was no problems. And it was a few little scuffles in the community, but see the community where I'm from in Maryland, um, it was already basically integrated because, um, in, in a way, because, um, historically, uh, the slaves in my area were blacks, whites, and, uh, Native Americans, so it wasn't as big of a deal in my community where I'm from, but my dad, he's from Frederick Douglass country, it was a whole big deal, and hopefully I would love to talk about this Frederick Douglass thing because it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, 
NAACP to athletes don't sign with Texas teams. What? Okay, NAACP, got it. Okay. Listen, because of Gab, Blab, common people like I are inspired to do our best and pitch in no matter how small our contributions. When we change our habits and gravitate towards the light, we can help turn the world back to the one we love. God bless Blab for Blab is the future. That's true. I mean, I would have never gone through starting the show or whatever, just doing what I can um, without a platform to put it on because basically, like, I had just resigned, like, doing media because it was just, like, I didn't want to give my valuable thought information to um, big tech because they would just destroy it, you know? And, um, but this platform came along and, here we are doing something useful with it. And I thought this was a very inspiring story. If you um, have a few minutes to read this um, about how Blab was destroyed. Oh, Lord, it's just awful. Look at this. In and out. Let's go, Brandon. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got something else to get to. Look at this. The last time spending on cars was this week. Interest rates hit 17%. Wow. Okay, so let me talk about this. I won't talk about it. This um, woman, black Democrat privilege allows them to spew. Let me read it out. Uh, a Rutgers gender studies professor gave an interview where she asserted that white people are committed to being villains. And we got to take these mofos out. Let me tell you something. Like I say right here, dollars of donuts, her parents immigrated here in the 70s because you can tell these people are not, do not have their roots in America. Like they just don't because if they did, they wouldn't be acting like this. Um, anyway, the matrix is real. Oh, Madam Musil, look, Meta, golly, Madam Musil. I, that's such a, I would never choose that name. Um. Prayer request. We have a prayer request group on the Blab, which I just found out about. This is great. Um, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Oh, goodness. Read that. Um, the moment you hear someone use phobic or racist for the umpteenth time. Pretty much. <laughs> it means that it's working. Another great Jim Bob product. And this is because you didn't take the shot. The jab. Somebody made some some points here. Look at this. The color scheme. Mm-mm-mm. Anywho, keep it moving. Somebody's giving away books. Listen, if you have not yet figured out how to buy from your local farmer, it is really easy. It is much easier than you think. Go to, um, you can go to find a farmer. You can go to local harvest. That's a good one. And find your local farm on the East Coast. There's so many farms, farmers. They're maybe an hour, maybe two hours away. You can get all your meat at once. You can get it for the whole month and use it like that. It's well worth the effort to get your local meat and produce from your local person. If you're not going to grow it yourself, um, you want to really think about this because why would they ship chickens to China so that they can process them. Listen, processing chickens is not even that hard. It's, like, not that hard. So just think about, like, all the steps that have to be included in that. It means they have to keep it at a certain temperature all the way to China and then somehow bring it all the way back here without – because keep in mind, in China, they have a really huge problem with their food supply right now. So basically, we may not even get them back. Like, this is the stupidest – like, the stupidest thing for our already very fragile food supply that I have ever seen. And so you, if, if you have not yet diversified your food supply, you better be working on it. I mean, you better be working on it because um, it's going to be a mess. Because this right here, who says they're even going to send us back chicken? Who says they're even going to send us back meat? Like, they don't have to. There's nothing that says that they have to. So anyway, that's how much you should trust the USDA by the way. And the point I make is that was one, buy from your local farmer. Oh, there's something else I got. Oh, the association. Love the association. 
Look, look at him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> U.S. Zuckbook Corporation changes name to Meta, reflecting all the new technologies developed to violate privacy and spread hatred among users. Big facts. Uh, the Sculler, I love Sculler. He does all of this metal melting and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, inflation, inf inflation, Lord, inflation is taxation without representation. That is a fact. Um, listen, everybody's going to be having delays with everything, like literally. Um, so I mean, please get prepared. Look, Donnie. Oh my goodness. Beta. That's a fact. I'm not going to read this, but you can clearly see the meme. The meme speaks for itself. And not only that, they also took the HCQ and the IV and they let everybody else think that it was bad. So let's just also add that. Look, yes, the part where I said delivery, deliver me from evil. Lord, oh Lord, Roy, Roy Orbison. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm a 60s music baby somehow. Um, this was, a, I thought it was interesting about... Um, talking about the end days and what um, the time is. So, um, listen, if there is a voice within you telling you that something needs to change, listen to it. Ignoring it will only make it worse. Start taking action. That is a fact. That is a fact. Look at this. Another, um, I didn't mean to do that. Another governor calls the vaccine, the jabs, miraculous and God given. Boy, these people wouldn't know God if you smacked them in their face. And I surely hope that he does. God. Okay, listen. Everything's in place to take Virginia for the demons. Again, they did it in November. They're doing it again, okay? Um, especially with Mark Elias. Lord have mercy if you don't know about Mark Elias. Go to Aim for Truth, type in Elias, and you'll learn everything you need to know about this person um <laughs> read the part again where she burns her whore mouth on my porridge look i i see this and i think of one of the lab users lma uh she loves bears and um i would put lma's face on this meme and it'd probably be far far accurate um anyway look at this talking about inez Cantor again we talked about him, about him a little bit yesterday um yeah if McAwful wins this time. It is really like there's there's just no way. Look at this guy. I don't even know who this is. Who is Ted Lasso? I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. Somebody can explain it to me, but simping ain't easy is right. Oh, Merrill Lynch is uh, em ordering employees to waive HIPAA. Now, Oh, if you haven't been following me for a while, I already discussed this. They changed HIPAA to say that it doesn't um, count for the jab. It, the jabs are not, they're, they're not covered by HIPAA, which is the most insane thing um, ever. If I find that post, I'll try and bring it back up so we can talk about it tomorrow. But um, they, they changed it. So, like, HIPAA doesn't mean anything, which I was in you know, that industry, um, where I had to, you know, keep people's information private. And, um, the fact that it doesn't mean anything is really, really disturbing. Look at this fish and chips. I think I'm going to try this for some child's birthday party and it shall be the hilariousness of the, of, of life. Here we go. Look at city. They're offering every employee $200 and thank you for complying. $200, is that going to pay for your funeral? Because, um, anyway, uh, Heritage is saying that Congress did not give OSHA authority to, um, to impose jab mandates. So, nobody cares. Oh, look at my little boo-boo. Yes, if you hear a person in the background making all the noise, this is my little boo-boo. He is, um, <laughs> I gave him a meme name by accident. Uh, we call him Baby Q. So it was totally by accident. My sister has a baby, uh, a little baby too. Um, and he's baby C. And so I call him uh, Giga Chad. That's going to be his nickname. So we literally both gave our babies meme names. She didn't even know though. I knew. 
um, which is funny. Um, okay, so we're back to, oh, I reposted it. Let me see. Um, okay, look, let me talk about this really quick. This is nuts. I don't even know if I can. Yes, oh, I can zoom in. Sorry. Didn't think about that. Look at this. The top five, top five rap and hip hop songs. I don't know how to slide it over. Okay, my fat fingers are not working. Here we go. The top five hip hop songs are all uh, FJB. Does that sound like a group of people who um, voted for Bite Me? I don't think so. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, and I know no one believes me. I've been saying this since November third and I know nobody believes me but black people did not vote for this man and this woman they did not I'm telling you I promise and one day I hope that I'll be proven right because I have been saying it and I've been laughed at and ridiculed everywhere I go <laughs> about it but it is clearly true it's clearly true okay so blessed are the meme makers that's a fact listen they're going to issue blanket rejection. That's wrong. Just wrong. Okay, look. PETA. Oops. Okay, this is what I was going to say. Or this is what I said about this. We're never going to learn about how safe the jab is unless we start giving it. And this same group of people banned all flavored vapes, every single last one, last year to stop kids from using them. But... We're never going to know how safe it is until we start giving it. That's insane. Like, why anybody listens to any of these people is really, really beyond my understanding. So, I would just not. Up, oh, Dan ends his radio program. Wow. Big sad face. But I'm not a Dan fan, just like uh, Torba says. So I'm not a Dan fan. So, anyway, look at this. This is what they fought for pretty much. Pretty much. Look, they're going to delay the infrastructure vote until next week. Now, this is interesting because, like, um, I don't know if I have a post in here about the um, the polls or whatever, but uh, Youngkin, who I think is awful in general, he is up, like, eight points, and now they're going to delay the infrastructure vote until next week. He's up eight points after Obama and all of them came to campaign for McAwful. He is, I mean, he is, if... If there is a honest election, he that guy is going to lose in a land. He is an awful person. Awful. Awful. Really awful. Um, look at this. I this was I this was Panda Express. They're out of honey ses sesame chicken breasts and grilled teriyaki. And a lot of people in the comments said that it's not just here in Jacksonville, it's a lot of look at this. Big big pharma, big parma. Big Karma, look at this. Grand old memes, great meme maker. Um, oh, Lord, I won't talk about that. Look at this. Do y'all even go to the library? Like, I had thought, oh, I'm here in Jacksonville. I will go to the library because the libraries at home are all closed and they're trifling anyway. But, like, if you ever look at the books that they have in there, you're better off staying at home. You go in there for exactly what you need, and then you come right back home. You're better off buying books from the used bookstore than um, dealing with these people. Look at this. Nation's largest teachers union approves critical race theory plan for all 50 states. Good for them. Wonder if they'll have any students to teach. I saw this, and I was like, what in the world? Bite Me Administration releases Life of Linda portraying a woman's best life is led beholden to the government. This is the type of propaganda you literally see in China. Like, literally. It is, like, unbelievable. Look at this. He's going to be arrested for forcibly touching aid and not for all the grannies he killed? Okay. Great. <laughs> um... Kids have strokes, too. No, they don't, actually. That is not true. Um, maybe jabbed kids have strokes, but unjabbed don't. So, um, an antidepressant shows promise to treating early. Um, 
that's because they don't want people to get upset and the anti if you've ever taken an antidepressant people tell me that it really really brings you down like all the way down you do not feel like yourself um in illinois i saw this um um they're going to remove your right to deny medical procedures including the jab um if you're still in a blue state God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, if you're in Novi, Michigan, please go out and vote for this person, Dr. A.J. Rahman. Um, this is who Aunt Bessie is, is endorsing. We want to definitely support them if you're in Michigan. Look at this. This is um, Business Game Changers. I didn't read this whole article. He says that the system will be overwhelmed on purpose with thousands and thousands more migrants on multiple fronts crossing the border at the same time. Well, better get you to see. This is why I say if you're in a blue state um, or a state where the governor has said they're welcoming these people in and you have not left like left, you're in big trouble. You're going to be in trouble. This thing with um, Laura Loomer is very important because they have like a, a, a database and basically when you try and get a firearm, you have to get your self checked through this database and if you, um, if you are blocked, then you can't get it and there's no way to appeal, there's no way to ask questions, there's nothing you can do about it. So you definitely um, want to be paying attention to this whole thing. Illegally red flagging conservatives through the mix database. Um, look at this. Wendy finally is getting to this one. But I think we didn't know about this stuff with the sheriffs until Racine did it. So now that we've seen Racine do it and they've laid the foundation, then other places can um, also go through with this. So look, I, I got into an argument with somebody yesterday over this and I told them, I was like, I remember the SARS-CoV um, phrenology having h4 in it hiv in it i remember seeing it but i cannot find it but look at this according to the report a 16 year old non-sexually active female presented to the pediatric gynecology clinic with vaginal pain six days after receiving her second dose within 24 hours of receiving the jab the girl developed fever fatigue myaglias myaglia yeah myaglias and sores in her vaginal area. Over the next two days, right-sided lesions in her vaginal area coalesced and became more painful. I'm telling you, I told y'all, cats, yay, okay. Gas prices went from 186 to five dollars because the economy is better. That is not how it works. I'm old, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> that is true, not how it works. Look, read this. I can't even read this on the stream. The French National Anthem. Read this. Yikes. I wouldn't be messing with, the, with them at all. Listen, Jill wants to remove um, the VP because they want to make sure that Nancy gets in well ultimately Hillary like this is all about Hillary like I keep telling y'all I, I just don't even know how many times I can say this this is all about Hillary she is playing the long game she just came out and said she was never getting out of politics why do you think that is anyway they want to use the 25th amendment on her they don't even have to do that all they have to do is get Robert to say that she's um she's an illegal alien um on heels up which she is she's her parents were diplomats they're not black they weren't american they never got citizenship citizenship they never even got residency uh heels up wasn't even raised in america she was raised in canada so she is a british subject just like her husband and she is illegal and she does not even have the right to be um uh here uh doing what she's doing and nan good old nan she um drunk man she she let it happen because the whole plan was to take out uh bite me take out heels up put old nan in there let her 
uh, however they were going to lie and do it, vote in Hillary as uh, uh, whatever of the, uh, what is his name, Speaker of the House. And then um, when the time came, then uh, good old Nan would resign her position and and they would bring, they would usher in the new um, um, time of Hillary. That's the plan. <clears throat> That's the plan. Peggy Hall has a great article over here at the Healthy American. I would um, go and read that. Cargo ships are starting to come into Florida ports. Now listen, they have they have not been coming into ports. Like I drive over one of the bridges um, where the ports are. Very actually, I drive over two of them um, almost every day, and um, they have been very very scant. But now they I have seen every day I've seen one, which is a shock. Um, we have a guest post from a, a, a Christian writer here, which is really good. Meme them until they cry and then make memes about them crying. That's a fact. Um, yeah, mm, 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 I can't even talk about that right now. Uh, really Gracefully has a great episode over here on YouTube. Um, the actual episode one. I actually listened to the not actual episode one. It was really good. Um, oh, this will be the last thing I talk about because I got to go get the baby. Um, listen, we got a coronal mass ejection to hit Earth soon. I don't know what this means. I haven't seen any more updates about that. But if I do, I will certainly let you know. Um, <laughs> I'll try and post about it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we've gone to 40 minutes, so that's long enough. Of course, if you want to know what's going on on the Blab, it's really, really easy. You go over to Blab.com, you follow me, you follow some of the people I'm following, or you just follow me, your timeline will be filled with lots of interesting things to go research that you have never, ever, ever seen, and you may never, ever see again, which is really cool. So uh, thank you for joining me here on Good Day Blab. I'm going to try and get these videos out before 9 o'clock so you can take a listen on your way to work or, or before lunch or, or whatever it is. So um, I really appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this video. Of course, like, share, whatever. Follow me on the Blab. Um, the Hotep Sophia website is not linked yet, but it will be linked very, very soon to my Blab page. So that way it'll be really, really easy for you to, or to my link tree probably, um, just to make sure I don't get uh, uh, kicked off of that. So I'm going to link it to my link tree and you'll be able to keep up with everything going on. Uh, in the next few days, I'm going to announce my um, seasoning blends. But of course, if you go to my page, I already have my Bake Share menu list. And um, we have shipping and all this stuff and, um, you know, all the, everything is coming down the pipe. So, uh, you know, uh, love and light to each one of you. You know, God is in control and you have yourselves a really, really great day. Good day, Blab! <laughs>